for myself, I I think my first exposure to the disease was reading uh, Tuesdays with Maury, which I think is, you know, kind of popularized the the details of uh, what it's like to watch a man go through uh, ALS as he gets older. And, you know, in the, in the past couple of days, as I've been preparing for this, I've been watching additional videos of people who are struggling with this. You know, I, I watched the documentary Gleason when I was living in, in San Francisco, and it's it's difficult to watch that and not be moved by um, just the human tragedy that you're witnessing in front of you of, of, a, of a person who is psychologically fully intact oftentimes and their body is just deteriorating in front of your eyes you know for for you when you met susan what what do you remember about that experience of getting to to know her um and what did you witness happen to her her body as as it began to deteriorate yeah, I mean, I want to, before I describe Susan, I'll just say, I, I, I feel what you're feeling when you watch those movies or you meet people, that it, it it's an illness that hits people in the prime of their lives. And they're so strong uh, people. And, and um, to lose the ability to move any of your muscles is just horrifying. But I'm, I'm always struck by the inner strength of people, um, of, of how they can adapt to something um, that seems so difficult and how they think about others and and. Susan was just like that. She was a teacher and uh, she had a young, young son who was uh, around seven or eight years old at that time. And for her, it was about trying to keep um, as normal life for him and, um, and within her husband and not to make every day about ALS. Yeah. And she had a rapid form of the illness. Um, but um, I re- that's what I remember her um she really taught me about how important it was to maintain quality of life, to be proactive and to try to get ahead of the symptoms. And, but also to try to have not every day defined by the illness. Mm-hmm. And she, but she, she managed it. And, um, and uh, you know, she's, she, um, she's given me, she gave me permission to talk about her. Um, you know, she, she chose to go on the ventilator so she could be here longer and help take care of her son and her family. And, you know, that, that was also a sacrifice, but one that she did with a lot of dignity. But I, I think I learned out so much from, you know, just taking care of one person about the illness and how to be a good physician and how to integrate research in clinical care so that we're learning from everybody so that we can, you know, get rid of this illness 